side. Let's see, Julia. Hop on. There may have been a misunderstanding somewhere. So the first thing with Julia, you spoke about the calves. You want to really get that foot up against the shoulder rest. Now, the next thing you want to look at is knee over ankle. So she's got to move that carriage out to about there. Now her knee's over her ankle. Then you want to feel that the chest is nice and lifted and lifted. Do all of you know Kristen, by the way? Kristen is the student affairs coordinator, qualified Pilates teacher. You're welcome to join us, Kristen. Uh, uh, Kristen takes care of all of you from the moment you registered to the moment you graduate and after that. So it's a beautiful position. Great position. Now you see this angle here, my friends. You see that angle there? That angle should not change as she pushes out. So your pelvis is square. No angles, just square. As you push out, yeah, nice. Well, almost changed, but you caught yourself. Nice. Now stay there for a moment. Pelvis absolutely square. She's biasing toward an anterior tilt of the pelvis, meaning she's trying to stick her bottom out. The only thing I would say to her here is bring your thumbs around and try and keep this foot active. Not under, no, active. Active. I think there's a mistake in one of the pictures in your book. She drops her heel. And then come up again. You do three to five breaths in this hip flexor stretch position. She's giving us that great breathing. Lift your chest just a little. I love that. You engage your back muscles. That is really good. Nice work, and then she pushes out. Don't drop that heel. Head down a little. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Try to get your whole hand on that bar. Nice work, you feel a good stretch? Yeah. I love the way she didn't change that angle. She did that really well. Because what many people do is they go back with that leg, and they go into that split that looks so pretty and looks so nice, and it actually releases the stretch. So you get much less stretch and bring it in. Really nice work. Did that clarify it for you? Yes. For some reason, I was thinking it's like you, you were going at an angle. No, 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 no. Actually, quite the contrary. Quite the contrary. A lot of people like to take their spine over the stretching leg. No, you want to keep everything square, the head, spine right in the center, not diagonal. 